Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how we can take a green screen video clip and swap out the green screen for anything else we want in the background, such as a background video clip inside of Adobe Premiere 2019. So as you can see over in my project window in the bottom left here, I have a green screen candle and I have a clip of a waterfall. So we'll remove the green and then we'll swap in the waterfall clip. So first we've got to build our initial timeline. So I'm going to drag this clip onto the timeline. And rather than leave it on video track one, I'm actually going to move it onto track two for both audio and video. Because when you have a stack of videos on your timeline, whatever is on the lowest track is going to show in front. So we're going to want this candle to show above the waterfall clip rather than the waterfall clip to cover the candle entirely. But that's why we need it on track two. Next, we need to add in a color key effect. So you can find this in the effects window. So I'm on the editing tab right now. I'm gonna click over here and open up the effects window. If you don't see that, you can also open it by going to window and then effects or shift seven on the keyboard. In the effects window, I'm gonna type in color key and that should be able to find it for us here. So color key, and I'm gonna drag that onto the video clip. And in the effects control window, we should see the color key effect pop up. Now by default, it's got this blue color. So we wanna change that to the dark green that we see in this green screen background. So we can use this color dropper, click it once and then go over to the video window and select kind of the middle range of the green. And then we're gonna to need to increase the color tolerance so that we get all of this green included in the selection. So I'm gonna increase this until I don't see any other green pretty much. Ideally, you wanna remove all the green without removing any of the candle. And that's why it's important that the background is the only green thing in the video clip so that you don't accidentally remove anything else's color. So to see that the screen is filtering out well, I'm going to expand the video window here and hit play and see how it looks actually playing the clip fully. And if we look closely here, if we zoom in, and I'm gonna make it 150% so that we can see really clearly, uh, there's still a bit of a green edge around the flame and around this person's finger. So we can work on that a little bit by adding in additional color tolerance or additional edge feathering to kind of blur the edges a little bit. Note that if you go too far with the color tolerance, like if I was to bump this way up to 80 or 90, you can start to see that it removes the color from the fingers and the candle, and that's really bad. So we want somewhere in the middle. So I, I can see that right between these two fingers, it's hitting that a little bit. So I will lower it down until I do not see any more issues with that finger, which I guess is at 45. But you can still see that there's a bit of green flame around the candle. And, and sometimes Sometimes it's very hard to get a perfect green screened out object, but uh, we can use edge feather to kind of lessen the effect of that green on the edges there. So increasing the edge feather to five or eight, something like that makes the green a lot less noticeable and a lot smoother. So if we go back to fit, we can see how this actually looks in the overall video clip and play it back from the start one more time. So ideally what we want is there to just be black in the background where the green screen was before and nothing is taken away from our candle or the hand. And if that is working for us, then we can take our background video, whatever we wanna swap the green screen out for and add that to video track one. So I'm gonna drag this waterfall clip in and I'm going to just put it in video track one, audio track one. And now you can see that this candle has a waterfall background. It doesn't make a lot of sense. But you can see that the obvious advantage of the green screen is that you can have anything as the background that you want. So if we play it back one more time, we can see that it looks pretty good. There's still a little bit of green edge. If you look very closely, sometimes it's not really possible to get that perfect, depending on how good the green screen recording was, how contrasted the colors are with the background of the green screen and everything else in the scene. But that's the general idea of how you use color key inside of Adobe Premiere Pro to actually remove the green screen out. Aside from that, if you're recording, make sure you use best practices for using a green screen. Adjust your color tolerance and edge feathering so that you can get the best look possible. And that's pretty much all there is to it. So I've been Chris. I hope this video on how to filter out a green screen using color key inside of Adobe Premiere Pro has been helpful for you guys. And I will see you all in my future video content.